everybody. Welcome to another Explore. Today, as I'm trying not to fall through the floor right now, I'm inside of an old children's clothes factory. This place is extremely old, I mean, I guess for American standards, and the way of which they were manufacturing these clothes is an old technique as well. We're gonna be seeing a lot of like knitted and yarn type of work here when it comes to clothes. And I'm in the basement right now. We're in a three-level three level warehouse factory. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys this extreme amount of sewing machines and uh, assembly lines right here still left behind. Wow. We still have so much cloth and just sewing machines left behind here. Still have some materials still wrapped up. January 3rd, 1983. Right here we have a machine called the Pacemaker. It's a cutting room appliance made in Chicago, Illinois. A lot of old, outdated machines down here. And you saw some cloth just laid across. So they would cut this for certain sizes. So the sign left behind here in the basement, Seasons Greetings. Check this out, I still have baby's clothes. Still hanging up. These have been hanging up here for 40 years. If you couldn't tell about how dated they are. <laughs> Even have like a little kid's car. You even have some Christmas decorations still here as well. Check out this machine. I don't know what it does, but I can tell you right away. It looks like a giant like ironing press. Apparel, American Laundry Machinery Industries. Ajax. Maybe it's not what I said it was for but it surely looks like it. Another one over here. You can see little, just little pieces they would put on various clothing. Still left behind, we have a pile of clothes hangers. We're not gonna pay attention to the little things the whole time while exploring. Kinda have a lot to see as we walk on these very sketchy floorboards. Elevator completely flooded. We got the car right above us. Hopefully it's open upstairs and we can look inside. So much assembly line stuff. Sell some clothes left behinds on hangers too. Kids clothes, pajamas. There's a little tiny cat in here. Yay, yeah, such a small little kitten. Oh my god. He's so scared. I bet there's a bunch under there. He's really scared. I don't know where he's at. He's so tiny. Wish I had some food or something. Here, kitty, kitty. Maybe let's leave it alone. It'll jump out. I want to lift it up, but I don't want to crush him. It's a really small kitty. 
Crickety Gizlu. I don't want to crush him. Yeah. He's under there. We want to make sure that this cat is a healthy cat and um, he's underneath all this garbage. So we've been waiting. We put some food down for him. He hasn't came out. He's probably a little shy. Um, we just want to make sure he's healthy. So we're going to start moving some things slowly, gently to um, see this cat. And, you know, it's a baby kitten. And if we can, we'd like to rescue it. See all those fabrics and all those different little bits of yarn and twine all still hanging up on the uh, assembly shelf. We gotta get closer to that. Wow. I love how faded a lot of the colors are too. What a beautiful little display of decay and time just sitting here in this corner of the factory. Over here you could see how the twine was wrapped around this machinery so when they needed to grab the orange, the blue, the green, they could just whip it over here for this uh, sewing machine, Metropolitan Wilcox and Gibbs Sewing Machine Company. Got some carvings in this door, February 17th, 1972. It's the only marker on this door, but always love to see the little carvings left behind. Really peaceful working environment. These uh, trees and greenery probably weren't consuming the building when it was active, but I love the look of vines coming up on windows. Got another floor, just assembly line stuff. Looks like we have a container of belt buckles. Yeah. I guess is where they stored more yarn and materials. Navy blue, 556. Five, I wonder if people ransack this stuff or what happened because there's so many materials here and a place closed down. We try to get as much money as possible, but looks like this place just shut down and never tried to sell any of its stuff that was left behind. Got a solo sewing machine here. It comes equipped with a little light. You still have some material left on here. Looks like a bit of a flower. Got a calendar on here too. 
February 1986. Found the clock in for everybody going to work. Got no names or anything left behind. Still cool to find it. box full of toys. Oh, it's moldy. But they're wrapped. Look at that. They're all wrapped with a twine. Don't tell me that these are like gifts for children that never got them, like Christmas gifts. I feel bad. Is it wrong that I want to open it and see what's inside? I'm gonna have to. I feel like it's gonna be a book or something. These are toys? They're just rolls of fabric. I mean, I guess if you're getting into sewing or something, that's a cool gift, but not what I'm looking for on Christmas. Found another bookshelf or storage shelf of all different colors of fabrics. I love that. It looks so beautiful just standing out in this derelict room, in this decaying room. It adds so much color and life to it, especially because it was a children's, children's clothing store. Just a lot of assembly lines, a lot of the same things. Ew. Ew, we have a bathroom just filled with not human, human shit, pigeon shit. Nice, it's a women's room. Good to see equal rights in this, um, in this here factory. Got a nice retro couch over here, but the floor is terrible. Damn landscapers outside. Let's take a look inside this little storage room. Wow. Of course, you got more fabrics left behind in here. What a cool little place. Look at these. You have uh, ornaments left on the floor, more Christmas decorations. Saw the gifts, saw the Christmas decorations, and now the ornaments. Got another fabric storage unit. I love the colors once again. Nothing really different about this one. Just beautiful with the green bricks in the background. This place has been decaying beautifully for the last about 40 years. And it looks like we came up to some offices. Check out this old desk with this intercom phone. Can't read what's in this book anymore. You have some of the uh, sheets left behind. Controlling work pieces, overtime, losses. Just efficiency reports from May 22nd, 1976.
It looks like we have an office over here. Oh, wow, this office is beautifully decayed. Check out this typewriter here. Oh my God, the floors are terrible. You can see the orange from the 70s carpet with the moss. Got those damn landscapers outside ruining the ambience, but we're still gonna be exploring. IBM too. What a cool little find. You have a whole new ecosystem taking shape inside here. All the water damage and just moss creating just a new environment here. Such a beautifully decayed room, a mix of man-made objects and mother nature just clashing into one. I love how untouched by like vandals this whole area is. We have trees growing inside here. The floors are really soaked at water, so this is getting a little concerning because I'm kind of mushing into the floor. But we're gonna check out this office here. Doesn't look like much, but there is a record player here. Check that out briefly. Keep moving past the offices here. It looks like we found a little Coca-Cola machine. Love finding these. 50 cents a can. You can get regular Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, my favorite, and sugar-free tab. All for 50 cents. It's a pretty good deal. I always wonder if there's any left uh, inside still, whether it's coins or just cans of any sort. Ted up a floor. I'm sure the water damage on these floors is only going to get worse. Super soft. Oh geez. You can see where it cracked right there. Alright, we're just going to go. I'm going to test every step. Oh hell no, I got I to gotta get down. This landscaper could see me. I got to find another way up. Because this landscaper is right outside the door here. Okay, we'll just have to uh, walk over to the other side of the building. That's no problem though. That guy was getting a little loud anyway. See if we can find another staircase to go up because we know the elevator is broken. This looks like a nice strong staircase. Got all sort of garments on the ground. There's a bathroom. Wow. So this whole building was made out of wood. <laughs> and you could tell because the uh, Bathroom is kind of falling into the floor beneath us here. So yeah, a lot of water damage has attacked this building. You could actually start seeing daylight from the roof. And uh, we're gonna tread lightly up here to see anything else that is available. Top floor looks quite empty. Not really much left behind, although we do have some more materials left over there. In the distance, just random fabrics and stuff. I guess I'll take a look at those. 
This is really cool. We have a stack of old briefcases here. Address to people, but yet they're sitting in this abandoned warehouse for the last 40 years. Oh, we got some more over here. And you could see, I don't know if you could see on camera, but we have the dipping of the floor happening right where those briefcases are. So as much as I want to get close to those, I do not want to fall through the floor. Crazy because thousands of people worked here. And one day they just decided, hey, we don't need any more kids clothing. Crazy to see how many people lost their jobs, lost their livelihood making children's clothes. I'm sure a lot were very talented at this, but I'm sure things just became more financially appropriate to move things, production of clothes and other things out of the United States and onto the rest of the world. But I think we've got to bring back some, uh, some factories here, stateside. Can't be so dependent on um, other people. Sketchy staircase. Oh my god. I do not like how this thing sounds. Okay, we're on the other side where the floor is all messed up. Got a little workshop over here. Got a lot of mason uh, jars here. Just all sorts of different materials left behind. Looks like we have a little workshop here. We have some instruction manuals on this uh, Union Special High Speed Needle Feed Lock Stitch Machines. Pretty cool. Got all these different um, logos here they would stitch into clothes. Hang 10. Not familiar with it. In this cabinet we have just needle storage. We have one here. You can see the needles for the sewing machines. Old print. And we have quite a bit up here just still stacked up. Speaking of old logos, check this Sprite can out. Sugar free. Wow. It's way before LeBron endorsed them. <laughs> it's really old. Wow. Wow, these dates go back to uh, 1960s. I wonder what this was. White Moore composition book. Got an office here on the third floor. Don't really have that much left behind except for a bunch of these. Look at this little machine spinner room. Wow. That's cool. Never seen something like that before. Back in the basement, seeing if the cat took any of our snacks. Didn't take any snacks? No. No, no snacks at all. Yeah, it really makes me want to pick this up. Do it.
Probably isn't. Oh, oh shit. Oh baby, hold on, hold on. You found the kitty. Oh my god, he's precious. I think there's two. Hi little guy. He's so beautiful. He's just chilling. He don't he doesn't have a care in the world. Is there one under Oh yeah, right next to him. Yeah. That's one right there, and then the other one's right there. Oh my god. Hi baby. Oh my goodness. Look how small he is. Is the other one alive? Can I pick you up, buddy? Maybe move that like round thing next to him? Yeah, just like don't don't pick it up. There's three of them. Oh, it's a whole litter. Ooh. What are they all doing in here? I can't take three cats. Oh my god, they're beautiful. You think they're Okay. I don't think we should take them. They're so young. I bet the mama knows about them. Yeah, probably. Okay, I thought there was just one cat in here. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, babies. That's so... I, I really don't know what to do. We did see an orange cat before. Yeah, I think that was the mom. Yeah. So we'll probably just leave these guys be. He's got some sharp ones, huh? Yeah. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. I thought We thought these might have been abandoned cats, but... I'm pretty sure Mama's gonna come back. So we're gonna leave these kitties be. We left some food. Just what we had on us. They seem to be in good health, despite being here. That one just buried itself. Yeah, one of them just buried itself deep in there, just trying to hide from us. So yeah, we're gonna leave these cats behind, just because they seem okay, and we saw Mama upstairs. But they're so precious. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the kittens. A week after I explored this place, a few friends of mine, they went there to explore, and they were also there to check up on the cats. And it turns out they didn't see the mama cat, but the small three kittens that we did find were still inside that same bin. So they were all rescued, and I have to tell you guys that all three of those beautiful kittens have a loving home, and they're all growing up to be actually amazing cats. Um, a couple of them are feisty, but one of them is a very good home cat, and um, it's it just really a beautiful experience to find those things in that dank place. Um, I'm thankful I did find them, otherwise they probably wouldn't be around much longer. They really weren't eating, and they were so young, but uh, just to complete the video and talk about the location, this place was great. It was a perfect example of a time capsule of this era of American domestic industries, really, a, pl a thing that really is not a thing anymore. We don't really have that many factories stateside building for their communities, for their states, for their counties, for their towns. So a place like this was pretty awesome to explore. I'm sad that it's no longer uh, a running place anymore, but I'm thankful I was able to go inside, document the time, and I'm thankful that everything was left here for so long. It's sitting time capsule. It was an amazing place for me to explore and document, and hopefully you guys enjoyed too. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and that's going to do it. Until next time, guys, stay curious. Peace out.